Alright the ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite a few days since I lasted a part for this, but let's resume our playthrough of Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends with one shout. And today he will be at the Battle of Heifei. Interesting. Sun Kwan's forces have marched for Heifei. Really? I had assumed that Sun Quan was still too young to bother with. Prepare to march! <laughs> what the... Um, what is it with Wan Shao's cutscenes and really weird editing? <laughs> Prepare to march! Cabbage Age's position. <laughs> okay, so we're up against Wu. Let's see what the deal is. Guan Shao hurries to Fan Castle and saves it from certain doom by defeating Guan Yu. This has been a worrisome distraction, but Wan Shao is not one to be daunted by such things. He will immediately recommence his campaign against Wu and march his army towards Heifei. Okay. The Soon family was said to be the direct descendants of the legendary strategist Sun Tzu. They could not be underestimated. However, compared to the rich history of the Wan family, they are nothing but uncultured opportunists. Their defeat is inevitable. Really? I didn't realize the Sun family were apparently descendants of the legendary strategists. <laughs> I think the bias of Wan Xiao's thinking is being shown in this, uh, bit. With Cao Cao gone and Lu Bei destroyed, only Sun Quan stands between Wan Xiao and his dream of unification. This is to be a new chapter in the illustrious history of the Wan family. With his heritage as his shield, Wan Xiao prepares for his final battle. What? <laughs> this surely cannot be the final battle of his campaign, right? Right? No, uh, there's no way, this can't be the final battle. It probably thinks it is, but something will happen. Anyway, there's us, with our three sub-officers in the middle of the village area. Quite an interesting position to be in, actually. Normally the commands in this map are to the top left or the bottom right. There's Shang He, and Yan Yang, Wen Chu, Wen Tan, Yan Ji, and Wen Shang. And for Wu, there is Sun Quan in the usual Wu position on this map. There's two sub officers. There's Wu Meng near the bridges. There's Gan Ning to the northeast. Wu Zun also near the base. Tai Shi Chi in the position that normally Gan Ning would occupy. Sheng Pu and Pan Zhang. So, condition wise, pretty simple. One Shao must not die. That's us. Sun Quan must be defeated. With his 80 billion archers, no doubt, right next to him. Equipment wise, last time we managed to acquire the Master Sword, which we may or may not have stolen from a certain green clove Nintendo mascots. Doesn't look much like his Master Sword, but anyway. We finally get to see the third tier of attack. Item-wise, I'm going to stick with this set, I think. I'm even going to sacrifice speed on this map a little bit. Since we're so classed up at this point, we could probably just pinch a white horse at some point, which is usually a good strategy if you don't want to use red hair all the time. <coughs> now, bodyguard-wise, I was actually told last time by... somebody... No, I can't think of it. Are my comments on this video? Let me think. Do -do 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 Sure, it's on here somewhere. Um, oh yes, uh, Harrison Smith pointed out that apparently pikes have more reach. Apparently, he's basically said that pikes have more reach, but he's not sure if the reach item on a spear would cancel this. So basically, pikes are sort of a longer-reaching weapon, so we should stick with that all the way. Fortunately, we didn't exactly get the um, best upgrade for Pike, but we'll certainly be trying to get it from now on, because apparently, basically, it's like a spear. But, uh, it does more range. It does the same damage as well, so... Basically, we'll be trying to get the Pikes as quickly as we can. As you do. I was also given an excellent suggestion by the, um... Also by uh, X, the Master X for the future, we basically said I should make a new squad of bodyguards that um, 
is has custom names because I actually forgot that you can name bodyguards. You can make your own unit, that is. You have to sort of disband a unit and rename it. But you can basically make a unit full of custom names, which I'll be using in the next campaign after this one. So thanks for that excellent suggestion, Extra Master X. I didn't, if I'd realised that, I probably would have done that from the beginning, to be in truth. But better wait than never. Hmm. It looks like I've been I'm also going to be trying uh, Mateo Ukulevich's um, challenge on this one. So this is his fifth attack. I have Ow. I'm going to be trying Mateo Ukulevich's challenge, which is basically to get a thousand plus then kills and not lose down. a single officer in the process. Sorry that I'm kind of interrupting one Shao's statement here. So his fifth attack is basically, um... It's basically like an AoE sort of swipe attack, you know, circle attack. Kind of similar to what Guan Yu does and so forth. Uh-oh, he needs to go and help right now. Oh boy. So basically we're gonna have, we have to try and kill a thousand enemies and we also have to not lose anyone. This is gonna be very difficult. Uh, and as, as usual the Wu Archer pack, we all know from past experiences, this map is infamous for Wu Archers. Pretty much. The most difficult part of this challenge is really going to be getting to a thousand kills before we lose everyone, but we'll see how it goes. Oh god, that wasn't good. Is that we're going to be fighting Taisa Chi? This will be your last battle. I mean, there's a really easy way to stack up a thousand kills per se. Oh god damn, you can cut that out, sir. The Master Sword actually doesn't have as much range as I remembered, actually, funnily enough. Oh, you frigging bodyguards. It's always the body... Oh, wow. I didn't know Saito Chi had that much range with his uh, third attack. Well, there you go. Guess he does. Oh, God, he moves that. Ugh. Oh, well. I'll finish him. Oh, what? He actually broke my Muzu? Dead rock, sorry. Oh, well, he's dead now. I'll just finish him off with a nice little combo. Has fate abandoned me? I don't think if Taito Chi a try in this game. I did like Taito Chi in Dynasty Warriors 4, as I've said previously. He was one of my main favourites in the Wu side back then. So there's our white horse, we'll now be bowling for this. But yeah, there's a really easy way to get a thousand kills on any map if you want to get the thousand kills. And basically, you just have to stand near a gate and make sure it constantly respawns. Man. Buddy, AI aggression is sure on max today. Oh, I know this could be the final map of um, One Shouse campaign. Who knows? Let's try and kill off some of his guards as well. Although I'm not going to obsessively focus on defeating every single guard of an officer. Because there's easier ways of doing it, of course, than fighting high health minions. Oh god, a Wu ambush party. Weird. Hmm. Does that bring anyone new to the battle? Nope. Does not. Thankfully. Oh man, I didn't get the kill for that. Or that. Oh no, his force is in trouble. Might need to head over there, because if I lose a single officer, then the challenge is over. So I need to be keeping an eye on when I hear that body um, sub officers and stuff are in trouble, I guess. So we'll head over here to help Wan Shi against Zhu Ran, the fire archer from Yi Ling, if you remember. So sorry it's taken me a couple of days to actually get this part up. I mean, I know I'm not... I know we have a little bit better than this on the old um, updating front, but... You know, sometimes it's just maybe a bit of a quiet period where I just sort of do other things. I mean, I've been busy with work. I've just been busy with other stuff, really. Do so. Oh, God. How can you still be in trouble? I just saved you. Oh, it's just a, I think it's just a take of updating. But I will be plowing up. So don't worry, I haven't given up the campaign or anything. I am plowing on. Really, recently, finding the time to do this kind of stuff has also been kind of not the easiest. I mean, I have plenty of spare time. It's getting the spare time and the sort of privacy to sort of, you know, 
do this kind of stuff. See there, the 52 from the item recovery. So that's that. Put these odd kills on the way out. Oh man, I, sh I shouldn't really be attacking on a horse today. Really. Didn't do as much. Another ambush party. Yeesh. I think I know where we're going next. I think. Help real quick. Oh, pushing from every angle. I think we need to head out. Actually, there's no one really. Huh. There's actually no one really over there. There's only like one officer, so I guess if we sort of plow through here and go around, we should be okay. Hopefully. 50 kills so far. Hmm. I think I know exactly where I'm going to get the best opportunity to take on the thousand, though right at the very end if I play my cards correctly. But we'll have to see. Try and get this, pick up this kill on Handang. If we can. Oh wow, what a beautiful setup there by Wen Shu. Oh, this is this could be good. Ah, oh. Maybe not quite as good as I thought, but that was a really, a really nice little bit of teamwork there by Wen Shu for once. Very very that the uh, <laughs> friendly AI actually pulls to be useful but hey every now and then it does it's, it does the business not too often but and again this game is all about making you feel very empowered compared to the AI which is why the friendly forces can't do shit without you I mean if you ever let them sort of battle it out they'll end up losing by default most of the time but I've already said that in previous video as well this game's all about making you feel empowered. Ah. This is going to be a very tricky challenge. I think you've set me here, Met Matteo. Matteo, I don't think I'm going to be able to... It's not that I can't get a thousand kills easily enough, mostly. It's just that I have to make sure that no one dies. That's a bit harder to do. You can't be everywhere at once. You're kind of relying on the morale to stay in the right direction. Where's my white horse gone? There we go. Oi! Don't you run into my horse, you. Uh-oh. No, he's not in trouble. Stupid ticket. Alright, so... Half the map already cleared and we only have 73 kills. Hmm. Oh! Well, challenge over! But didn't we just... Weren't we just like... Oh dear. Well, that's the end of the challenge, folks. It was worth the shots, but again, it's a ridiculously hard challenge to do. You can never rely on your AI teammates being reliable enough. So, unfortunately, I was just a little too slow, I guess, or, you know. It's a really hard challenge to do, that one, because even if you, like, play really well, you can't... You have to get a bit of luck on your side with teammates not being useless and... I don't think there's any warning for that guy either, so I guess now we'll just play this as normal and see what happens. And at least the pressure's off, but it's a shame because I would have liked to have done that challenge. Uh, I mean, I could be really cheap and do it on a map where there's no pressure for uh, any other officers, but that would kind of negate the challenge factor. Wow. So I was just pulling their weight on this map a little bit, huh? Like, seriously? It's like two friendly AI killing your officer of sin. That's kind of rare. At least at this stage. You Normally know, they pull off all the kills when it's almost over just for timekeeping's sake. You know? What? Will you fight or dance with that outfit? What an incredible waste of time. That was not beautiful. That was not beautiful at all. I shall teach such an ugly fellow as yourself the true beauty of battle. Lu Meng has pushed the general too far. He's going after him alone. <laughs> the fools, they fell for it. No, Zhang He, you're not thinking straight right now. There is no one else. I will stop him. Oh man, what is Shang He doing? Oh dear, this is not good. Hmm. So apparently, uh, our. Oh, are you unlucky? 
running into me like this. Not really. Boy, so Shang is apparently let pride cometh before a fall, so to speak. Oh, there's that infamous Ganning Muzu, but look we I was already Oh, why am I losing these deadlocks suddenly? I'm losing I don't know when we lose these I've lost two in a row on this map. Yeesh. Come on, bodyguards. Finish him off for me. There we go. He's out of here. Man, I really messed up today. I was actually going to say that cutscene between Wu Meng and Shang Ki was a little bit weird, but considering what I've seen in this expansion so far, it's actually probably one of the better we executed cutscenes, all things considered. So in kind of an interesting semi-reversal of stuff, then uh, originally on Cow Cow's perspective on this map, you, um, just checking where the officer is, I'm in the right way. Uh, Zhang Riao charges into the enemy ranks alone, but it's part of his strategy, whereas Shang he's been baited by Wu Meng's taunting of his outfit, apparently. The way to Shang He's anger, mock his fashion sense. Ah. <laughs> uh. I have a feeling that may happen another time as well, but is Shang He really not much danger? That being said, I will destroy you if it's the last thing I do. I mean, considering that cutscene implied that Shang is going to charge off, I don't think he's actually really in that much of a dangerous position, to be honest. All things considered. So maybe another cutscene with no point, huh? Perhaps. Oh, these. Guards have got quite high health. Wu Meng might be uh, a bit powered up here. Potential as my phone is ringing in the background. You don't hear it. I certainly can. Nah, he's not powered up. He's got decent defense, but he ain't no eight star. We'll see though. We've got a nice little combo going here. Oh wow, can I make this work? That was pretty good. It's kind of hard to get the uh, four combo into. Um... Oh, good. Cow. Kun Yong's getting his uh, health back. It's kind of hard to pick up the fourth combo into the, the first one like that. Normally you just miss. Well, that was a nice time. He said he's not exactly going down too easily. But we'll lick him. Eventually. I think kind of an interesting sort of spear character as well. In a sense, you know, he sort of he would play very similar to like uh, Guan Yu or Xiao Yun, really. All these characters with halberds and stuff always have the nice long range. Usually the most fun to play characters, really. Anyway, that's the end of Wu Meng. Looks like Shang He's fashion sense will live another day. My lord, I must leave you now. Long live. I don't think Wu's going to live very long. Probably the end of this battle, in fact. Alright, let's see if it's a cutscene involving the bridge, shall we? This broken bridge is usually a cutscene trigger in most other situations. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any reason to have it now, but hey, you never know. Look, I can see the forces across this river. Nope. Looks like the broken bridge isn't getting used this time. Huh. Normally it's useful in some capacity, even if you don't want to use it. Ah well. Oh, the bodyguard weapon drops here. Is there anyone in the middle? No, that's pretty much it. I think we're good to go now. We're going to start plowing into the main base. Oh god, I hate attacking this base. It sucks. This is one of the worst bases to actually go and attack. Just because you know there's a bazillion archers waiting for you on the other side, so you're literally gonna have to struggle through the entire backlog of an army. I hate Wu for this. Between this and the other Hayfade map, Hayfade Castle, we have the most annoying archer setups in the whole game, really. This is where your bow defense will really shine. This is not even the worst of it. I mean, it might be slightly different for Extreme Legends, but I'm not holding my breath. 
Titans. I don't have quite enough defense to handle all this aggression. I don't want to get caught out by a barrage of crossbow bolts at this point. There's more to come. I kind of want to plow through the middle and just get them out of the way. Oh, we're too far ahead. How are we up far ahead? Not really. What are we on about? Do you think you can evade my swords? Yeah, do you think you can evade my sword? I need to take that health. I think we're going to be baking out a Muzu here any second. No. Nope. Hmm. Actually worked out quite nicely. He pulled a book out his Muzu, Muzu otherwise, but... I'm too young to die. Oh. You're never too young to die, Luzon. Never. I have to Anyone who steps on a battlefield with the esteemed one shall not only not too young to die, but is stupid for trying in the first place. The esteemed one family. There were many arguments in the actual war, by the way. If you actually play some of the later games, they exploit that. Between one mountain mission where you can... Well, actually, this is exploited as early as the next game, in fact, where there's one mission where you break up the one family's trust with each other, and they start infighting and stuff, which is pretty cool, actually. And then, I don't know much about the actual war, and I'm sure someone will point it out, <coughs> Harrison Smith, but um, I'm pretty sure the one family were actually not really that successful in uh, the actual war. I think they had a lot of infighting, quarrels, pride, and were defeated, I think, by Cow Cow, historically, at that Battle of Guangdu. Although, he did have a massive fucking army. I mean, he was, like, the commander of the Han forces before they disbanded, so I guess he always had down his side. That he was, seemed, well, judging by the games anyway, he was a bit of an egotistical, imperialistic douchebag. You know, talking of peasants, I suppose you could, I suppose you could slightly imagine, um, one shower as a, a David Cameron with a sword, maybe. For those who don't know who David Cameron is, he's our prime minister. So, I don't know, maybe you could think of One Shao as an old Tory, but I don't think that's quite the apt comparison, but, you know, a sort of snobbish elitism, I guess, is similar. Anyway, let's just continue the fight against the fading Wu forces. I would be very surprised if this actually was the last map. It doesn't seem as difficult as a... It shouldn't... It doesn't really seem like... It should be, although to be fair, I haven't actually researched how what kind of maps each character has. Unlike with Dynasty Warriors 3, where I had to research the maps to pick the most interesting characters. I've not actually done any research on this one. So honestly, oh my god, this is going to be the fun part. Dealing with the Wu Archer packs, how many there might be. Which there could be quite a lot. While waiting very slowly for my forces to catch up. So we're going to have to try and pick off all the key targets, not these guys, any archers, really. Mm. Ah, there they are. At least there's a few more of them. And there's Sun Quan himself. Looks like they've been distracted. Good. This is not as bad as it... This is not too bad. Probably helps that they're all distracted to some extent, but I've certainly seen... Will die. Well, I've already lived for your stupid ambushes once. I think I can do it again somehow. And we might as well lick off Sheng Pu as well while we're here. Good. Uh oh, premature Muzuation there. Ow, oh, man, I'm getting lifted by another guard captain. Only ones that can really sort of wreck me for that much at this point. It's not actually as bad as I thought it would be, honestly. I'm kind of surprised. Normally this is a lot worse. Oh, that was a bit unnecessary. Normally it's a lot worse for archers this area, but this is actually not too shabby. I don't know if to, I don't think the German can push out his moves here, so I'm probably going to kill him. Beautiful. That was good. 
Nice and quick, just the way I like killing my generic officers. Pretty much. We must fight well. Oh yeah, I don't know how many of you actually follow my other wet play pursuits, but I do have some good news on the project front. I've ordered a, a new PS2 game. Um, off Amazon in the last two days or so, and that will be arriving towards the end of this week. And once that arrives, I'll be starting to play that as a new RPG-esque project. I'm not going to tell you what the game is, but it's a new RPG project. They'll be coming. They'll be starting as soon as I get it, and after I've had a little bit of time to play through it myself to get used to the to the game. But there will be a new RPG project. Let's play on this channel in the next few days or so hopefully for those who like watch all my different things I know Mateo at least Mateo will remember it and I think Alice and Smith do watch my Doom stuff as well so I think some people here do watch all three of my past things like my Baldur's Gate stuff that I used to do and my Doom stuff and my Dynasty Warriors stuff so fear not, there will be a new RPG project on this channel for those who maybe like the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance Let's Play and want to see more of that. Just give you a little teaser, I guess. And like last time, I'd let you pick the character in the game as well. Probably fun. Hmm. I'm just slogging through all these guys. I think we need to take out the Gate Captain and end this. Yeah, I think Shang Fu's been defeated by me. Let's just let's just end this. I don't think there's much else to say on this battle. Sun Kwan, will you get out of the way? Wow, I actually got lucky there and evaded his Muzu on the horse. Let's finish him off with an arrow. <laughs> I don't use arrows often enough in this game. I really don't. I guess they're not that useful after all. Maybe it's not such a big deal they were moved in way of Dynasty Warriors games, but <laughs> there's my super awesome bodyguards. I also found out that they do get elite status. You know, like last time when I upgraded them to the maximum rank. Well, apparently when they get 90,000 points, they will upgrade to uh, elite status. So that will be the final sort of rank uh, class upgrade as such. So eventually we're going to have really powerful bodyguards. And we'll be using those really powerful bodyguards in another challenge for next time as well. Which should be fun. So I'm also going to get out of the way. Because another challenge I'm supposed to do later on is... Someone wants me to defeat all the officers with just the bodyguards and nobody else. And that's G. Father. Father. For the glory of our... Oh. And that's another victory for one shell's forces. Not a very challenging map. <laughs> but I still failed the challenge. Maybe next time, Matteo. <laughs> so, this was an interesting position, but not really much came of it other than that shang ambush, which didn't really do anything. shang was actually defeated off the thing. Huh, they just got a main officer. In fact, yeah. Sheng Pu and Wu Su were entirely annihilated by friendly forces. And like half morale. That's actually pretty good. I mean, they were generics, but still. Anyway, we lost Yuan Shang, so that cost us the mission. We just go to Shang He's position. Yeah, and Shang He was never in any danger. So that cutscene was really silly. I also just realized there wasn't another officer. It was all Sun Quan, so. Huh. You need not to take out all the gate captains. Two of them were made redundant eventually. The ones in the right and the very bottom right. Oh well. 20 minutes later, Sun Quan and Wu are fallen. One sword, one sword. Master sword. Master sword. defense, I think. Hmm. We do attack, attack, and charge. Or bow attack and meet from the public. I think I'll actually go for this one. A little bit more. Bunch of items, nothing new there. Aw, oh, come on, you have got to be joking, right? Oh, that is so lame. Why am I not getting second tier weapon drops? It's always the long pipes. It's like the game knows the pipes better than the spears, so it's not giving me anything other than this crappy one. Yeesh. 
Oh well. So let's see if we get any more bodyguard points today. Might do actually if we tick over to 81,000 perhaps. Oh, there we go. We did get one, so while well, we're putting that on attack, I think. We never have enough attack, right? We're pretty much exemplary in every other area, so sod it. I guess more attack. To complement their aggressiveness. And we class up as well. We're pretty much not really fussed about classes. Once you basically once you can ride the white horses, class is not 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 that big a deal. So we could up the life and Muzu, attack or defense, with maxed out class. Mm, I think attack, yeah. More attack, why not? Ranking wise, ooh, we top DL Chun. It's run by a good thousand points or so. Well, arms are a thousand, but still pretty good. Ah, not even getting the KO ranking. Fastest time, though. No. Keeping our DL Chun playthrough. So that's that. I don't think this is the final mission, but you never know. I've been surprised before in this game. But no, it's not the final mission. As I thought. I'm not aware of any characters having less than seven missions. But who's the enemy? Dun dun dum! It's Cow Cow! The one that was gone but not forgotten. And this will probably be very short next time, I suspect, as well. But who knows? Maybe dating will be challenging as well. So that was um, the Battle of Heifei with Wan Shao's forces. Um, what were your thoughts on the Wan Shao uh, playthrough of this map? Did you like the uh, Shanghai Wumen cutscene or nah did you not think too much? Do you have any suggestions for any more challenges? Please keep the challenges coming in. I uh, will try and do as many as possible throughout this playthrough. And uh, any other comments you want to leave, feel free to leave them below. And I'll catch you all next time for part 6 of One Shower's Campaign at JT. See you later, Dynasty Warriors fans. See you later.